Welcome to another review and discussion. I am Ace. And I'm the Angry Raccoon. And today we're talking about Sword Art Online, the movie, or no scale. Mm -hmm. uh, I've watched the film, Raccoon has not. No. Which uh, should be very interesting to talk about. <laughs> yes, I think we can already kind of just begin by saying the situation is very interesting because I would have not have expected you, of all people, to have watched this film. Because <laughs> uh, I've only seen the first 12 episodes of the first series. <laughs> yes, and I've seen the first episode, no, the first 12 episodes of the first series, the first two episodes of the second series dubbed Sword Art Online 2, which also yeah. just dubbed Gun Gale, and I've seen the AOV, and I've seen a lot and a lot of questionable material regarding <laughs> Sword Art Online as well, to the point where I couldn't tell if it was pornographic or the actual anime, but we can get into that later. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, the reason I went to see this friend wanted to see it, she thought it'd have good action, which, um, I'll, I'll get to whether it does or not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I, I think the first thing I really want to say is Kirito is so shit. Like, honestly, he, he has no character at all. Uh, they tried to do something in this. Okay, I'm going to go full spoilers, everyone. Mm -hmm. So, uh, pre-warning there, but they tried to do something with Kirito, like, I'm not the best at the game, you know, it, it's set after, like, Gun Gale, mm -hmm. so, um, and, you know, everyone else is better at it, he's, like, ranked 10,000, which is really low, mm -hmm. and it's like, no, I can't play it, and then, like, literally near the end of the film, it's like, I'm ranked 2 now, mm -hmm. it's like, well, rank 3, but it's like, yeah, he, he just suddenly comes out of nowhere and becomes, like, the best. Yeah, I mean, I've always had a problem with <laughs> Kirito as a character, and I think that's, I, I would argue that's possibly one of the main issues I think a lot of people have with the series and why a lot of extra hate is thrown yeah. on Sword Art Online. I think we should um, uh, clarify as well, if you are thinking about watching this film for whatever yeah. reason, I mean, it is in England, which is great, awesome to have yeah. more Japanese animation in England. I'm so happy with people actually providing it. A big shout out to all the anime slash anime yeah. unlimited for actually getting it over here. Massive props to you guys very grateful no matter what. Yeah, it's the second anime film I've seen this year in cinema, which I'm very happy about. I'm sure it wasn't that great, but anime's still good. Yep, which, so. is, which is fine. Um, we should say um, this film is kind of going to spoil a lot of parts of the original animated series yeah. slash light novels, so be advised if you're not too up to date with the series, maybe watch this one after, yeah. or at least know that maybe this film might not make that much sense to you. But that's just a fair warning, and I guess we can also kind of usher that in as the, the final major yeah. spoiler. So I guess from now on out, click out if you absolutely want no spoilers from this film. Yeah. But other than that, let, let's just get straight into this one. Yeah, so uh, basically the whole thing's uh, based around a new video game is our ordinal scale. Mm. Um, and it's based on a ranking system why it's called ordinal because it's ordinal, ordinal numbers as opposed to cardinal numbers it's yeah it, it tries to and there's nothing really there it tries to be smarter than it yeah. actually is and instead of being virtual reality like full dive VR like all the previous games it's aug augmented reality like so, Oculus Rift VR kind of thing uh, no like um, Pokemon Go on your phone but oh. instead with, like, goggles. Visors? In uh, kind, kind of. of. Okay. Al almost Google Glass-ish. Oh. Like, um, have you watched Denu Coil? No. Okay. Uh, Denu Coil does it, and it does it really good. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, it tries to do AR instead, so they're in the real world, and it's just stuff being added onto the world in, in front of, kind of Pokemon Go-ish, as okay. I said, yeah. like on your phone. Uh New game comes out, everyone's loving it, and everyone's like jumping off the old games, and Kirito's just sulking, like, I'm not good at this game, I don't want to play it, that kind of stuff, and all his, like, har harem waifu people are like, oh, you should play it, you're grumpy. Yeah, he has, like, six wives, doesn't he? It's, like, three girls, his sister, and Asuna. I wouldn't put his sister in the the listing of wives, but... Uh, yeah, um, considering at one point it shows a POV shot from him and it's just her boobs. Like, she's wearing a sh jumper, but it's just like, no. Uh, let's, let's hope one of them's adopted. That's all I can say. From what I've seen, they're proper related, so... Mm. Yeah, not not good. No. Uh, that happens quite a bit, actually. Um, Asana, they constantly show, like, boob shots. Well, yeah, that's... Yeah. Basically, the series. Yeah. Off. Yeah. Once they go into the, the the fairy world game, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, but um, it 
he goes on this weird thing of like, you know, oh, Asuna's now cool, she's the top, like, you know, doing really good, and this guy comes out of nowhere called Ag, and he's like, I'm rank number two, bitches, yeah. Mm. And, you know, apparently he knows who Asuna is, and he just starts, like, beating the shit out of people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, um, uh, Klein from the original series, guy with, like, spiky a share. Oh. Yeah, he's, like, uh, battling some monster, and Ag just literally beats the shit out of him, breaks him up, he breaks his arm, and okay. sends him to the hospital. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> but, um, one of the things is that, apparently, to earn points to get a higher rank in this game, they brought in bosses from the original Sword Art Online for them to fight. What, so, is this not an expansion from the original games? Because as far as I know, no. the three games were made yeah. by different developers. So this are they in partnership? No, completely different. It makes no sense internally why they're using the monsters. But in theory, it should make sense, given the like, fact that the technology yeah. and the concept and the idea is so similar, they should have just combined the game. They yeah. should have just come with a concept saying, this is the final VR, the game yeah. to end all, or just say... It's an expansion to the first game. Let's it's get that not. nostalgia going, you know, or something like that. Oh, we managed to, you know, that crazy man who was doing that experiment. Yeah. He's in jail now. Now <laughs> people actually want to make the yeah. game. They've actually fixed things up. And hey, look, it's a throwback to that monster. No, they, they don't. It's literally just, oh, bosses from Aincred are appearing in the game. And that's basically it. I mean, as much as my concept might sound boring, I think that would actually help to actually build on the world. It would. I mean, I'm actually su surprised that they wouldn't do anything about that. I mean, granted, yeah. I know no one wants to see businessmen sitting down and going... Oh, oh you still see should... businessmen sitting down. <laughs> oh, I know, that's a, a, a prominent factor of uh, Sword Art Online. It's, it's why I, I watched it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think that would actually be interesting to actually build on this world that is just so fascinated. I mean, this film takes place in, like, 2026 or something yeah, like that. Yeah, 2026. And... I can under I can I I can believe in twenty twenty six people yeah. like VR and people like yeah. AR games yeah. yeah. Um, what I can't believe is poor business management. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, literally near the start of the film, like there's a a whole like three or four minutes just telling you everything that happened in the first twelve episodes of Sword Art Online. Just watch the AOV guys. Yeah, basically, and then you've got a two minute kind of business meeting telling the audience what AR is, mm -hmm. in case they don't know. <laughs> And it's like, no. Maybe, I, maybe I if this film came out in 2003, you might need to explain what the concept of that is, but yeah. not today. Yeah. Uh, and not to the fans. Exactly. So 90% um, yeah. of people watching this film know what's going on know, yeah. and know what has happened. Yeah, it's it was just dumb. Uh, then there's the whole thing of uh, uh, everyone is apparently moving normal because obviously it's the real world. So they're not doing jumpy, flippy and all that stuff. Oh. But um, at one point, Kirito's like, you know, it feels really slow to move around. And he trips over at one point and he says, you know, it feels like I'm getting massive lag, even though it's obviously the real world. Like, he knows it's a real world, he's just using the gaming terminology. That's strange. But then we've got AG and he's just doing backflips and everything in the real world. And like, they tried to cover it with a line like, oh, he's a gymnast or something. But that's speculation at best. Hmm. It still doesn't understand how he can backflip like 20 feet <laughs> off of a wall. No human can do that. <laughs> and how he's dashing around like Quicksilver. <laughs> Is this the video game series Deus Ex or something? Like, what's going on here? Yeah, apparently. But no, he's literally like, when he was taking on Klein and his friends, he's literally just jumping in like that ah, nowhere, super speed, punching people in the stomach. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering how anyone would be able to do that. I mean, he must be on like steroids or something. Uh, they it's literally that one line tries to explain it. He must be a gymnast or something, and that's it. They they don't let you know how at all. Gymnasts are usually very flexible and physically tough. Yeah, but super speed, no. No, I mean maybe someone could correct us. I mean, sure, go ahead and leave a comment. Yeah. You know, whatever. But mm, maybe he's Usain Bolt. Maybe. But then again, yeah. Usain Bolt can probably jump high and run really fast, but I don't yeah. see him knocking the hell out of people. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll we'll be interested like... in a VR game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um, I think like the main plot is basically there's this scientist guy called Dr. Shikamaru. <laughs> really? Oh. Yeah. And what he's trying to do is uh, try to steal everyone's memories who played Sword Art Online and survive. Wait, hold on. <laughs> so... 
so so you must have missed something. So so at some point when you play this game, you sign away your memories or it no. registers that. No. Well, the, what? So the, there are drones all over the city. Oh, so oh, okay. That makes the drones make <laughs> yeah. sense. And if you lose, um, like your rank goes down. But if you played the original Sword Art Online, because somehow he like he knows. Um, but they're not partnered though, and they're not the same no, trade and no. the same company. Okay. No. Uh, these drones scan your brain, <laughs> and then they steal your memories of Sword Art Online. <laughs> okay, so if they have the power to do that, why? And someone wanted to cover up the first yeah. game. Why don't they just do that in general? <laughs> uh, the the reason he's doing it is because his daughter died during Sword Art Online. Okay. Um, and I I can't remember if she was in the original series or if they just made her up at all in this. Uh, she's called Yuna. And he's trying to rebuild her as an artificial intelligence <laughs> with the memories everyone had of Sword Art Online. <laughs> right. So he doesn't necessarily need that, does he? Because the first game still exists, right? Yes. And there was an AI counterpart in that, ga- in yeah. that game, right? Why does he just take control of that? Who knows? I mean, I didn't think the game would still be running when the company has gone down. But apparently it's still running. Who has the assets to the original games? They they don't say. They just said that, that like I think at one point they say the company's like gone down like bankrupt or something, but the game's still running. No, that's not possible. I know. Someone would have to acquire the engine, the the, the software and the character designs. Every yeah. person who created and designed something in that game would have some kind of copyright over it, whether it be a small or large one. Yeah. That would be a massive mess. It would not be resolved in a matter of five years. That's not possible. And um, and then uh, AG, he was uh, in the original Sword Art Online, mm-hmm. and he's working for Dr. Shigamaru, which is why he's ranked two. Oh. And um, basically, he's like, when the bosses are appearing and everyone's going there to like rank up, he's tricking people, like basically beating them up and stealing their rank and their memory for Dr. Shigamaru. And the funny thing is, at one point, they actually say this, um, Klein isn't looking, so he can't see the AR world. He's, he closes his eyes, and he's forcing him to open his eyes so he can lose in the game. What? <laughs> and then later on, there's this whole bit of, like, everyone's being attacked, and he's thinking, ah, oh, they're all going to take off the AR, and then they can't lose, and their memories won't go. But no one does that. They just leave it on as they're getting killed. Yeah, how do they... Yeah, couldn't you just easily stop that? Yeah, you... I mean, Kirito does it throughout the whole thing. He just takes off his AR lots of times. So... Yeah. Yeah, yeah like... <laughs> what? They could have just taken it off. I'm still trying to get over the idea of... Scanning someone's brain from a distance. <laughs> well, they have drones all over the city, because that's not... A, how a big problem. is the drone? Uh, like a normal drone-ish. No. But all over the city. Do you know how big an MRI machine is? Exactly. <laughs> and it, apparently it's so precise, it only takes the Sword Art Online memories. <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> I don't think anyone understands how complex the, the brain is. <laughs> no. I mean, we only just recently figured out that the brain is controlled with two sides. Yep. Yeah. No, you're not. And even that's kind of being disproven. Of exactly. The, the the brain, ironically, is one of the hardest things for the mind to actually yeah. try and understand. If you want to throw in a sci-fi concept that has these kinds of concepts, you need to think of something more yeah. fantasy-like if you want it to be believable. When you're trying to add some kind of realistic concept to it based on real things yeah. and you're throwing that bullshit, No. That doesn't work. And I bet you any money there's like a blue or red laser beam that actually hits someone's head. No, no. uh, A yellow kind of energy ball thing just like pops out of their like AR and just flies into the drone. Okay, so already that's incorrect because there shouldn't be any visual representation of memories which which shouldn't have a visual look. The the beam, or however it's scanning it, shouldn't have any kind of look. If anything, it should be a flash. If anything... A concentrated beam yeah. of a flash, and no, I don't understand. That's the one thing I always get annoyed with these kinds of ideas is when they show something being taken mm. that strictly has no kind of f- 
visual look yeah. and they it has a visual look i'm like wait so the device that's taking the memories is artificially creating a visual representation of something that has no visual representation yeah that's dumb i mean that's the thing i, I was actually gonna say um in the film lucy okay at one part she's start- lucy sorry <laughs> she starts seeing the electromagnetic spectrum so she can essentially see like the wi-fi connection and i thought that was a good visualization okay yeah but this it is just like energy ball and then, um, you know Yui, the little, like, fairy thing in, I think, the second series? Yes. Yeah. Uh, she chases it into the drone. All right. <laughs> and then she gets inside it. It's like, oh, no, drone's blocking me. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, there's a warning thing inside, and it blocks her, so she has to leave. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> and it's so embarrassing. <laughs> Wow, it sounds like a waste of animation right there. <laughs> it really was. It sounds like something that could easily be cut. It's just like... Something you could have easily just explained with Yuri, don't follow it because yeah. you can't get in it. Yeah. By the way, so how is she still a fairy? Isn't she supposed to be like a normal person? Uh, no, in this, obviously because of the AR, they can allow Yui into the AR world. Oh, no, yeah, that's right, because Yui is the AI from the first game. Yeah. Oh, no, second... Isn't it from the Elf series or? Oh, she's from the first game. Oh, okay. I can't even. She's remember. that same AI child, if I remember correctly. I know someone oh, okay. will probably correct me or yeah. or whatever, but if I remember correctly, it's the same. Yeah. Person, but basically. Somehow that's allowed on the AI game. Mm. <laughs> and she keeps calling like Kirito and Asuna mummy and daddy, and it's yeah, so that, weird. That's a concept from the first and second series. I can't even remember that, but no, that was horrible. <laughs> no. And um, throughout all of this, Kirito, while he's sulking, he ends up seeing this ghost girl. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Let me look at the time real quick. Oh, man. And this ghost girl keeps pointing and disappearing. But simultaneously, there's a girl that doesn't look that dissimilar as a J-pop star singing when the boss battles are appearing. I mm. wonder if they're linked. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. Because they are. The, they're the same person. It doesn't okay. take a genius to figure that out. And considering both are called Yuna. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. That's strange. Yeah. Um, and that's the person that Dr. Shigemaru is trying to create an AI of. Yuna. But they already have, like, AI singing J-pop stars. Yeah. But he's trying to create like a real girl, you know. It's a real girl. So he's so he so he's trying to make a robot then. No, but an AI, just an AI. No, it's not a real girl then, is it? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I can understand you want to make an AI to put into a robot, but no, it's not a real girl. No. <laughs> but um, as they're going on, it turns out all the Sword Art Online survivors have been given tickets to the J-pop girl, like hologram AI's first live concert. Jeez, even Scooby and Shaggy could figure this one out. Come on. <laughs> I know. Like, it's so dumb. It's like, oh, what do you think's going to happen? <laughs> I know. All this weird shit's going on. People losing their memories from the original, and all of you get tickets? So what do you think happens? <laughs> I think I I'm gonna I'm take I'm gonna take a shot in the dark here, and okay. I think they all go to the concert and they will have a really good time. Yes, correct. Okay. Yeah. No, uh, a billion boss monsters appear out of nowhere uh, after the first song in the concert. Oh, at least they got to hear one song. <laughs> yeah, and okay. it, it wasn't anything special. Okay. Um, they actually showed the whole song if I remember correctly. Mm. And all these boss monsters start appearing, and one even appears to Ag who challenged Kirito to a PvP battle and Kirito kicked his ass because of course he would. Yeah. And it's going straight for like AG and he's just like no and he could just take off his AR. Yeah. <laughs> he knows it works like this. Why doesn't he or Kirito or someone just be like, wow, things are getting pretty crazy. Better go save the people I like and love. I'll just take yeah. that off, take that off, take yeah. that off, take that off. Oh, right, no. let's go call the police, because some serious shit's going down. Oh, the police start arriving, but the doors are locked, so they can't get in. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> One of them, like, shoots the, like, door lock late. <laughs> I'm supposed to shoot a door lock. <laughs> well, it's like an electronic door pad thing. <laughs> they still, shoot it, still, and it just... <laughs> <laughs> automatically opens, oh, Lord. Yeah. And, but that's after a while. I'll get to that in a minute. Mm-mm. So everyone's trying to run for the doors while they've got this gear on. <laughs> And boss monsters are basically beating them and stealing their memories. 
And then Kirito uh, um, starts talking to Yuna, the like girl AI thing, and Yuna's like, you need to go to the original Sword Art Online and be the final oh. boss. <laughs> like literally, you have to buy, battle the final boss. And she says, don't worry, the AR actually has VR on it. <laughs> what? <laughs> so he, all they have to do is lie back and then go, go into VR original Sword Art Online. <laughs> Wait, this is some Inception stuff now. <laughs> yeah. And then they battle the final boss and it's this like a hundred foot woman thing with giant like swords and a tree that like drips water onto her to heal her. What? <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a depiction of God. Yeah, basically. And um, they beat her through teamwork, and somehow, despite being in Sword Art Online, one of them's using their gun. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't think that that wasn't in the original Sword Art Online. No, no, no one, no one used the gun in that. Yeah. No. And people had their fairy wings from the second series in the original Sword Art game. <laughs> I don't know how they so, managed that. Wait, so they were able to bring in bring in their character counterparts from other games yeah. into that game? Yeah, into the original to fight the final boss. Yeah. That's weird. And they finally beat it, and Kirito gets this massive overcompensating sword as a, like, victory weapon. Oh, no. <laughs> and this is when the film finally clicked for me again. All right. The whole film is about Kirito suffering from impotency. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kirito's not a big man anymore. And the first thing he does with the sword in the real world... <laughs> Is he stabs death right through the chest? Wait, where did death come from? It's one of the boss monsters. <laughs> he just stabs it right through it. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> it was so embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Yes. Oh like god, I wouldn't even say embarrassing. <laughs> I would say just abysmal. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, they managed to start reversing it because Kirito's so good he's killing the boss monsters in one hit. I thought we could always do that. <laughs> and everyone's memories are coming back. How? Because <laughs> he's killing the boss monsters and apparently that reverses. <laughs> it's how, how is that linked? <laughs> no, I don't know. Did they, I can understand if maybe they destroyed Professor Professor's uh, machine. Dr. And then Shigamaru, the, yeah. He's just Professor Professor. <laughs> And then that returned their memories, but no, I don't understand. I don't, I don't think memories move like that no. in some sense. And even then, how would they know? It's like that scene in the first live-action Scooby-Doo movie where they yeah. lose their souls and they can't quite get in the, the exact bodies. That's what it'd be like. Yeah. They'd be remembering different things if they could even travel like that. And then the Dr. Shigemaru standing there talking to... The creator of original Sword Art Online, oh. who's a hologram AI. Oh, so he's still around, is he? <laughs> yeah, and, and then he talks to his daughter AI, who's like, sorry, you, we kind of have to do this. <laughs> I can't remember the exact words, I was just so dumb. <laughs> and they basically win the day, and it's like, yay, we won. And I don't know, like, his someone comes back from camp with food, and... The guy from the original series who was a merchant is a bartender in the real world and they will just hang out and it's like, yay. And then uh, Kirito proposes to Asuna. Oh, well, at least he actually did something. Yeah. yeah. If he likes her, then sure, whatever. I don't have a problem with that. But it's like, it took you long enough. <laughs> we spent like seven years with her. <laughs> yeah. Of course, yeah. <laughs> it was so dumb. Uh, the best thing, okay, throughout the movie, there's this person sitting near me and she was laughing. Throughout the whole thing. It was great. Jeez. I think everyone else was getting annoyed at her. I would be getting annoyed watching this film <laughs> simply because I'm I'm questioning things that I don't think they ever questioned regarding this film. Yeah. You have something special regarding some of the concepts and ideas of Insola Online and you just kind of instead of starting from A and then going to B to C, you're going A, G, P and Z. You don't yeah. seem to be putting in the work. I mean that's why more superior anime series that do these concepts of whooping your ass in some sense. They don't get as much attention or popularity and it's because no. too many people are harking up about Sword Art Online and I'm aware, like like we've already said, Sword Art Online gets a lot of hate and I think it's for some of these kinds of reasons. Is yeah. I think as people are frustrated, there is a lot of 
possibly. Stupidity. There's stupidity there, but there's something there. Yeah. You had had or have something there, and you could easily improve or expand on it. But you don't don't know why. You're too busy focusing on animated girls' asses and kids, oh, yeah. basically. It's, uh, there, there was a, quite a bit of that in this, and it was just, every time it was like, that wasn't needed. <laughs> at all. Like, especially the one where he's op- um, he's saying goodbye to his sister, who's, I think, going to school. I can't remember. And it goes to the point of view of Kirito. It literally just on her boobs. It's like, why? This is it's Kirito's point of view. Why are you on her boobs? What the fuck? Isn't she, like, 12? I, I don't know. They didn't mention her age. She looked young. No, she is underage. Yeah. So, yeah, for some reason, Kirito's looking at his sister's boobs before she goes to school. Why? He has, like, four other girls. I don't know. Is four not enough for you? <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> and also, those names are so dumb. Like, Silica and Leafa. Like, what the fuck? Leafa, Silica. <laughs> I think I've heard Silica somewhere else in an RPG, but Leafa yeah. is... That's questionable. Leafa is here, you know. But you put some words in a random hat and just pick them all out or something? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I don't know, is, is that has that name been used anywhere else? I think it has, but I can't remember where. If you guys know, let us know in the yeah. comments, I guess. I would be interested to know if that name actually has some kind of relevance in the I was, world. I was thinking Pokemon, but that was Gardenia. Yeah. Mm, no, uh, Jim yeah. Leader and Sinnoh. Yeah, n- n- no real connection. No. Oh boy, well that film, this film doesn't sound great. Like I said, it sounds like I would just get angry at it. Yeah, I completely understand. I was half bored during it. It it was in subtitles, so at least reading kept me entertained. All right. Uh, but it was uh, okay. I forgot this. The direction was awful. Okay, some of the sh- like the compositions for the like obviously animated shots are terrible. Mm. They. Gave you no information, and sometimes the editing was so poor. It was either cut really quickly, or it was just lingering for no reason. It, it on breast, this is. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But or just on something else. Like um, at one part, Asana is having a bath, and for some reason, you know, we need to see the top of the cleavage while she's having a bath. Oh, sex time. And she's texting someone, and then that's at, dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> as she gets out, it just. Sh- Cuts to a shot of her shampoo as you hear her getting out of the bath. It's like, what? 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 I wanted to see yeah. that. No, no, <laughs> it's, it's not even that. It's literally, what, what are you trying to apply by the shampoo bottle? Exactly. There's no reason. Like, this is why in a lot of films and animation, they usually have the um, shower squares yeah. where they're usually blocked out so you can just avoid that. So the character can just wrap a towel around yeah. and step out. Yeah. But they just cut to a bottle of shampoo for no reason. It makes no sense. Probably, like, probably hinting at something. <laughs> no, th- it implies nothing. Uh, maybe she has silky hair, I don't know. She probably, well, her hair is long. She would yeah. have to use a lot of shampoo, but that's n- no reason yeah. to cut to that. And also, that scene was pointless anyway. Like, Asna being in the bath for no reason. Did she invo- did, did that invo- advance the plot in any sense? No, she next meets Klein after that scene and says... Oh, I was just in the bath, and they would go, ah! like, <laughs> like, like this the first, children, yeah, yeah, like they didn't know girls bathed, yeah. They what? I don't know. It was like a, a shock reaction. I don't know if they were embarrassed because oh, naked girl at one point in her life. I don't know. Maybe it, I need to speak to some of these fans of Sword Art Online and uh, say, hey, you know, girls can do everything guys yeah. can do almost. You know, girls are naked sometimes. What? I know. What? It's I've a, never seen one. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> hey, I hope that weren't direct, directed at me, yeah? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's, you know who. Oh, yeah. You, you know what people. <laughs> oh, 2D women are better. <laughs> Oof. No, 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 that could be a whole other video right there. Um, <laughs> but uh, almost everything was a mess. I, but, Like I said, I guess it's a shame because there's a lot of potential in yeah. this series. Um, Even the action was lackluster. My friend was bored watching the action. Oh no! Yeah, like that's the main reason she wanted to see it. And I'm surprised she wanted to see an animated film with action in it. I mean, yeah. I'm not trying to slam any animated action scenes because there is plenty of yeah. really good examples. But yeah, yeah, that's weird. I mean, I don't know. Sword art online. Well, yeah. does anyone use a sword? No. <laughs> I I would be upset. <laughs> Oh, no, oh, one part of this tiger guy has a bazooka and he just misses. It's funny. Is it a purple space bazooka? <laughs> no, unfortunately. 
I can't remember what colour it was. If it was purple, that would be great. That would be great. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So then this tiger guy has a purple space resistor <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> and then some people have guns and everything. Like, uh, the weapons make no sense for the game they're playing. It's... Especially it's since the, 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 the fairy world, they have yeah. swords, and I'm like, shouldn't yeah. you guys be throwing magic? Yeah. And then... Shouldn't, like, that, shouldn't that just defeat everything? Yeah. Oh, here's my <laughs> death spell. <laughs> Feel the power of my magic! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would... Yeah, that's yeah. that's something they need to make a reference to. Yeah. But uh, they just use any weapon for no reason. It's like, oh, guns, swords, you know, we've got everything. No there's, balance. There's no rules no. to this film. <laughs> <laughs> just does whatever it wants to which is a shame oh boy well I think we can wrap this up yeah. leave your hate comments in the description below um, also subscribe so you can hear us talk about how terrible Sword Art Online is some more so you can hear me chat shit about your favourite things oh yeah <laughs> I'm just approaching on all the things you like right here yeah. Oh boy. I think we should also mention as well. Um, we guys will ask you to, to the true listeners and all that the people aren't just here to leave negative comments for no real vague reason. Um, would you guys actually like to have more review and discussions in this kind of format where only one of us has watched the uh, video and kind of relays information back and forth on one of each other? We're kind of thinking of maybe actually having that be a series. So let us know if you prefer this style as opposed to us just reviewing a film audio based yeah. only we would actually like to know we're always looking for feedback and ways of improving things and whatever means constructive criticism is always appreciated here at the moment anything else you want to add is i'll just say we usually end up with some very amusing situations when it comes to one of us knowing the film and the other not usually yeah <laughs> i mean that has happened in the past i think we've done this would be the third time it's happened yeah maybe it'll be the last maybe it'll be its own thing we don't know but uh, yeah definitely check out any of our reviews and discussions if you do enjoy this and yeah I think we'll uh, see you on the next review and discussion or film based video we upload yeah. I was the Angry Raccoon I was Ace and we will see you later get your sort of online shit out of here oh no oh is this in everyone <laughs> watch Denu Coil it's better fair enough alright latest <laughs>